Okay, so let's talk about how to run um, existing code. Maybe I give you a code base rather than um, starting out with, uh, with writing your own code. So just, just a quick review. Up here I have my first project ever, right, which was my Hello World program, right? There it is, very beautiful. Um, and if we look at the uh, at my uh, folder hierarchy, right, my Explorer, um, it's here's Windows classes AI is where I created this new folder called AI Eclipse Workspace, and when I created the first project ever project, it created a first project ever folder in here, and if we look inside of that, we can see there is my Hello World.py file along with some. Um, Files that you may or may not see, they may be hidden. Uh, I have my hidden items view, uh, shown, but a couple extra um, uh, files that Eclipse set up for you. And here's hello world.py, and it looks like I have my Py files um, set up to open in uh, Notepad. There you go. So here it is. I would never edit it in Notepad. Please do not. That would be ridiculous. Um, but uh, I just wanted to show you sort of the file hierarchy here so you can see what was going on. All right. So um, what I want to do, let's just shrink that and um, get rid of that window for now. What I want to do is I actually have a, um, a zip file uh, that it says download the zip file, right? So let's just do that. And you should have that. This is the sort of Rowan. Um, let me shrink this so you can actually see everything that's going on here. So um, this is the uh, Rowan Pacman test.zip uh, file that you're supposed to download. I'm going to click on download and I'm going to just, let's just, um, let's save it for now. Yeah, I guess I'll open it with Windows Explorer. I just want to extract it all anyway. All right, so let's get rid of this guy. And here is my, can you see all that? Yes, excellent. So here we go. What I want to do is I want to take this folder and I'm going to um, extract all. And I don't want to extract it to my documents folder that's the default on here. What I want to do is I'm going to browse and I'm going to go to my C drive. Come on. Fine, I'm going to go to my C drive and then in classes and AI, AI Eclipse Workspace, right? So there's first project error. I want to um, create a new folder in here where I'm going to extract it to. So let's make a new folder for this. And, it, you know, I get to call it whatever the heck I want. Um, let's call it uh, Pac-Man test code, right? Because this is the folder that I'm creating. And inside of this folder... Um, so let's just click on that so it knows it's called Pac-Man first code and not, um, uh, not new folder, right? So I've got this, I've got this, um, Pac-Man test code. That's going to be the name of my project within Eclipse, but let's do that. And so now and we're extracting to the right place. So let's extract everything. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And there it all is. It, can you see? There it all is. It looks great. Let's close that. Um, close that. Now, if you look in Eclipse, Eclipse is still unaware that I have new um, a new folder in that in that window, right? So if you if we look at um, if we look at my uh, Finder again, um, inside of AI Eclipse Workspace, I do indeed have two folders, right? The first project ever, and also now my Pac-Man test code. But Eclipse doesn't know about this yet, right? So what I need to do is I need to tell Eclipse, hey, bring this stuff in. And um, and beyond the bring this stuff in, I want you to know that it's a Python project. OK, OK, so we start by telling the system where um, <clears throat> the uh, code is that we want to use, that we want to import here. So we're going to say file, open projects from file system. Now, this may or may not. Um, come filled in. If you have first project ever highlighted, it'll probably help and tell you where you are. But oh, whatever happens, you need to click on this directory button over here and you need to navigate just to your AI Eclipse workspace where you put the thing, right? 
Um, oh, and I assume, yeah, you saw the directory part. In fact, this oh, I'll show you that window behind in a minute. Anyway, um, and then we want to just select the folder Pac-Man test code and say select folder. And here now you can see this window better, right? So now it says I want to go to the um, uh, Pac-Man test code, right? And you just want to make sure that this checkbox says Pac-Man test code is what I want to import. Um, and then we're going to say finish. And magic, it says Pac-Man test code here. And if we open it up, you can see we've got all those files that we had before. Um, the one thing, actually, the two things that we need to do, we just need to um, set this up so it's configured and it knows that it's a Python file. Because even though I've got all these .pys, um, uh, Eclipse tends to think that everything is Java unless you tell it otherwise or it, it configures well for Java not perfectly for everything else so I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on where it says Pac-Man test code so I'm right clicking on the folder name and I'm going to the PyDev menu and the first thing that I want to do is I want to say set as source folder right add to Python path so I'm going to do that okay and then I'm going to do again, right click on the folder, not on any of the stuff below, but just right click on the folder, go to PyDev again, and I'm going to say set as PyDev project. Okay. So now, you know, I've got both of these projects open, right? I could look at the Hello World code if I feel like it. I could look at some of the code for um, the uh, uh, in here. The most important one, what I actually want to do is I want to, uh, there's lots of files here. There's no file called main. Um, there's not a default file name of what you run in a Python project, so you need to tell it which one to run. Let's let's close these guys. Actually, we'll leave Hello World open. Let's close the ghost agents and we'll close keyboard agents because the one we want to run is this row and main test, Pac-Man run me, right? So I'm going to double click on that, so that's open, right? And now I'm going to go to the run menu. And I'm going to say run as Python run and OK. And get ready. Here we go. We got Pac-Man. And I can use my arrow keys. You can't see, but woo. And I can lose quickly to Pac-Man. All right. Um, I don't want to waste too much of your time, so I'll stop the game. OK. Um, now that we've run it, you know, if I want to run Hello World again, because that was kind of fun, I can click on, you know, the run. Hello world, and it just runs it. It didn't ask me run as Python run or whatever because it knows now. I can go back to the Rowan main test Pac-Man run me, and I can say run, and I get my Pac-Man game again. Da 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 da. -da. Um, and then the other thing, I mean, if I happen to have graphics display open, and I try to run that as a Python run, okay, uh, it just finishes because there's nothing to run in there independently. There's no main that it that it runs. Okay, um, so yeah, I think that's it. Um, so if you can get this far, then you've got um, Eclipse set up and running the way the way you need it to.